Welcome to the fourth or fifth attempt at recording this video in the past week after the previous attempts to record it. Um, having listened to the back made me sound like Gordon out of Hearthstone. Um, I've been struggling terribly with the flu. Uh, as you can probably hear, I'm sounding a little bit more hoarse and possibly sexy than I, than I did in previous videos. Um, this is the first chance I've really had for a couple of weeks. I've been laid low. Um, but... Um, with that in mind, I want to make this quite a quick video, just a, hopefully quite an interesting uh, quickie, just a, a quick guide to turning an old iPhone uh, or iPhone uh, 5S into uh, a cheeky little retro gaming device. Um, all you need is obviously an old um, iPhone. Um, the reason this came about is um, my uh, penchant for collecting crap old Chinese um handholds which threatened more to burn down my house than have any other practical use um, has reached a level where actually I've, I've realised they're so poor that I need one to uh, need a retro gaming device um, to go with my uh, GPD XD handheld just for uh, backup purposes just for uh, just having another option basically um, and I've, I looked around um, for something that could do that and um, it turns out that what I found um, is using the iPhone with what I'm about to show you works a treat, um, and I thought I'd share that with you because it's not something I've I've seen much talk of um, on on any forums or on Twitter um, that, about it being a you know a genuine um, sort of solution. Um, this is for non jailbroken devices. Um, there's I guess there's plenty of other options if you've got a jailbroken device. Um, it's not something I can be bothered to go down. I can be able to go down. Um, I'm, I'm happy to keep the phone as it is. Um, this works nicely without having to mess about with jailbreaking. Um, if you just want to use uh, for simple retro gaming, sorry, just bash the uh, camera there. Um, so all you need to do get a, a, an iPhone. Um, these can be picked up actually now for well under £100 um, on eBay, certainly for a 16 gigabyte f uh, 5, which this is. Um, and you also need one of the most commercially unsuccessful peripherals that uh, certainly Logitech have ever produced and I think possibly ever existed. Um, which is a shame really because it means it's had a very low audience, but it does mean you can get this very cheap. I got this for, I actually got it about six months ago, but it's only very recently that I've started to use it. Uh, it's called a Logitech PowerShell. You can see there. Um, you can see the lightning connector here, um, and it doesn't take a genius to work out what it is. It's a control device for uh, for iPhones. Um, these do work in certain um, iPod touches, so you'll just have to make sure. I, I'm assuming that anything with a with a lightning connector on it is going to work in this instance. There's a, there's a couple of adapters which sit uh, flush to the surface here. Uh, to allow for um, iPod touches to work, um, and it's got I think a 1600 milliamp hour battery in it. You plug it in. Um, I'll just give you a comparison here to um, uh, say a DS, just a little wider. Uh, I mean, it, and it weighs absolutely nothing at all. It's maybe a Mars weight of a Mars bar, perhaps something like that. Um, Snickers bar, um, or a bar of your favourite confectionery, let's say. Um, and very simply, you don't have, don't have to install anything, you just pop your iPhone in uh, and if it lights up when you plug it in and it goes off when you take it out, it works. Um, the reason why this was unsuccessful is that very few developers supported this, weirdly enough, um, which I guess is surprising in a way, I'll take that out because it messes with white balance for timing. Um, there's about 40 games uh, on the iStore which use this, which given there's 140,000 games on the iStore, uh, the Apple Store, means there's like 0. 0.000 something percent of games support it. Um, there's a couple of notable games which support it. Um, the Asphalt series, Terraria, uh, the Lord of the Rings uh, Lego games support it, and there's a couple of others. Um, but really not enough to sustain it. And it, this was really expensive when it came out. This was like 89.99 in Britain. 89.99 equates to about 130, 140 US dollars. Um, and given it's essentially just a Super Nintendo controller, the battery, 
uh, it's no great surprise that it failed, really, is it? Um, like some of uh, of the other great sort of silly inventions that had one very specific use. But there's a way of using this which makes it a really viable retro gaming solution. Um, and I'll just show you that to you now. So um, it does cost a bit of money. You'll have to obviously buy the... Um, Power shot. I mean, it's so reduced in price now. These range, you, you have to time it right, but between anything between five pounds and about twelve pounds now, I got this for five pounds, and that's how much they've come down. You know, ninety odd percent of uh, of what the price was uh, originally. I mean, obviously, you can just see you can still use the uh, camera and the, all the features of the phone. Um, there's a small adapter that comes with um, the power shot, which plugs in here to allow you to use headphones. Um, but I'll just show you what I've done to get this to be a retro game game later. Uh, so, right, you can see here that I've installed something called Provenance, um, which is not something you can get on the iStore. The apps are Christ Almighty. I apologise for all of them. I'm mixing my acronyms here. Um, let's go back to acronym school. Um, all you need to do: navigate on Safari uh, to these guys. Uh, build, uh, build store, builds IO, and I'll just navigate now. Builds dot IO. Um, there's a registration to go through. It's nine dollars, um, which I've happily paid. Uh, I mean, it's four pounds fifty, five pounds uh, UK, um, about seven euro. Uh, works on anything up to nine uh, iOS nine point two, I believe. So it's pretty current. Um, and you can see basically once you've logged in and registered and paid your nine dollars you get a choice of um, apps which will download straight to your device and you can play and you'll see some familiar names here especially uh, Robert Brolly is uh, md.emu uh, it stands for uh, iOS which is SNES 9 uh, EX for um, for Apple devices, there's a few other things in there. Happy Chick, <laughs> Flap, Happy Chick. What's wrong with me? I've been playing too much Android. Um, my uh, GPDXD comes uh, loaded with uh, Happy Chick, and I've been using that a lot recently. So again, excuse me. I'm sure it's all the, the drugs I'm taking for this cold treatment. Um, but there's like plenty on here. A few of them work with uh, the PowerShell, uh, especially uh, GBA for iOS, um, which is the uh, Provenance app uh, has a, a Game Boy Advance emulator on it. GBA for iOS is far superior and supports PowerShell. So if, you, if you're thinking about using it, um, I would get both. Uh, you know, once you've paid your money, these are all free. Um, Provenance has a brilliant way of handling um, artwork, data and information uh, and automatically loads it on when you load in a ROM. Very straightforward to load in a ROM. You can either load it in via um, iTunes or you can just download an, uh, a ROM from your favourite ROM sites, provided you own the game. Obviously, all, all you people running Earthbound and Musha <laughs> games like that um, supports uh, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, Master System, Genesis Mega Drive, uh, NES, uh, and Super Nintendo, Famicom, uh, Super Famicom. So plenty to use from all the classic emulators. Um, you install it and you open it. And here is Aladdin. <laughs> Which I've just been happily playing uh, <laughs> today in the uh, while I've been on the bus uh, looking for a house unsuccessfully. Um, first thing to note is this is the, obviously this is the Mega Drive version. The Sound emulation is really crisp on this. Um, something, something in the Mega Drive emulators suffer with horribly uh, is sound emulation. As I'm sure anyone that's bought the uh, AR games uh, emulator, which has the sort of 20 built-in um, games, you know those uh, high high street uh, emulators that you can buy uh, from Argos and from PC World. This is a far superior way of doing it. It's a little bit more expensive, but if you've already got a uh, iPhone knocking around, 
It's actually far cheaper because we've already uh, done the hard work. But let's uh, let's quit to the main menu, isn't it? And you can see renders beautiful. Um, <laughs> he says renders beautiful hard work. Um, I've balls up by by reinstalling um, provenance for the purposes of this demonstration. I've balls up my uh, NES <laughs> uh, imagery somehow, but. You can see, look at it, it's amazing, using the, uh, obviously the uh, high pixel density you've got on the um, on the iPhone 5. These look absolutely gorgeous, the box arts, and these just come up automatically. And if they don't come up automatically, it's simply it's one of these uh, where you just tap, hold, and you can put your own artwork on if it's not what you want. Um, scroll speed's pretty good, well, when you have a lot of uh, imagery loaded up on here. Uh, it suffers a little bit, but uh, you can just see here. Um, let's have a little bit of uh, Mario Kart just to, again, just prove the concept. Da -da -da. Apologising, Dan, for the terrible playing of this uh, looking through the viewfinder. But you can see the colours are glorious, uh, full speed uh, emulation, um, and really not a great deal of criticism. Tony Mr. Boost by, by pissing on. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I've been watching a lot of uh, awesome games done quick. Uh, the most recent version, which was on between uh, 3rd of January and the 10th of January um, this year. And some of the guys have just been absolutely killing games like Mario Kart. Uh, and it makes me feel like such an imposter playing games these days, having watched that. Really well worth checking out um, AGDQ on... Uh, on the, a lot of the videos have been uploaded to YouTube. There's a beautiful run of Final Fantasy VII by No Cash, No Cash, which I would recommend anybody that's a fan of the series to have a look at. But also uh, an excellent um, Mario Kart 8 run, uh, speed run uh, on 200cc by, uh, I think it's a lady called Zero, uh, an Australian lady called Zero. Uh, but again, that is just magnificent. It's just how people can operate these games at that speed is beyond me. Uh, there's another one way back in, um, I think it's Summer Games Done Quick, it's part of the same group. Um, and uh, and uh, I think it's a Danish chap absolutely crushing uh, F0 on the GameCube, F0 GX on the GameCube. It's just a most remarkable feat, but well worth looking at uh, Games Done Quick, uh, who raise a lot of money for charity with their speedrunning. Um, but I digress. You can see, uh, I just wanted to use, show an example of the, the Game Boy stuff there. Let's quit out there, sorry, Game Boy Advance. And again, you can see in, uh, in landscape mode, it looks equally impressive. Um, so I see we've seen some Mega Drive, we've seen some Game Boy Advance. Um, I won't share any NES. Um, I mean, it's not the world's hardest thing to. Not the world's hardest thing to emulate. But let's have a look at something like. Um, Actually, something we're a bit more familiar with, Super Mario World, um, which I can proudly say I've just completed, not on this, uh, on native hardware for the first ever time. I, uh, I was, it took me a long time this time around, I've never completed it before, I never completed it as a kid, um, it was a game that frustrated the shit, shit out. The shit out of me, and I never quite got to beat Bowser, uh, mainly because I couldn't work out as a kid how to beat him. Um, and obviously, in recent times, it's become fairly obvious how to beat him at the very end. Um, you can just uh, the interesting thing, obviously, to note by the way is the lack of on screen controls. All you get um, is your start and select button with a very faint opacity on there, which easy enough to see. Um, Obviously, with some some games which rely on it more than others, you know, you've got Zelda games which rely on it a bit more, but it's it doesn't interrupt in any way um, how the games work. So let's just have a quick rattle through a level on here. Something to bear in mind is you, there's no way of um, amending 
the button layouts, which I'm sure will frustrate some. Uh, it won't bother others. That's annoying. Um, it does bother me. It, it sticks religiously to the Super Nintendo, to the sort of standard controls. Um, that, that came with the consoles, so your Mega Drive kind of goes like that in the, in the, in the 3 formation. The Super Nintendo is exactly as it would be. Uh, the Game Boy is A and B, and then your Start and Select here. And your Game Boy Advance is your A and B, and your Start and Select here, and your Trigger Buttons. Uh, so let's see if I can just try and do this without... Uh... Speedrunner, I'm not. But just on, on the on the sort of um, notion of speedrunning, that's something I'm thinking about right now. Because it's just it's something that's very new to me, speedrunning. Um, and I didn't quite realise the dedication it takes uh, to absolutely rinse the games like these guys and girls do. Um, I think uh, I'd, I'd certainly, uh, I think one of the Super Mario runners that we had this year on AGDQ was saying that put over 2,000 hours into um, the speedrunning of it and the, the analysis of the code behind the game and sorry it's not well to do all the greatest one here but um, hopefully it's a good indication of just how good the emulation is on it um, and really that's kind of it that's um, that's what it does um, well worth the nine dollars um, if you're still running it, and obviously running a 5S um, or a 5, carry this around in your bag, absolutely no problems. Um, remember that you can charge your phone from it. It takes, it charges about as quickly um, as a normal iPhone does, uh, but excellently, it charges with a micro USB. Obviously that means an extra cable, but also you don't actually have to take your iPhone cable around with you. You can just charge it via that means. Um, and completely recommended. Um, just a record, it does work with things like Lego Lord of the Rings. I've just tried that out um, before. It, this thing works absolutely fine with it. Um, but well worth buying sooner rather than later because they aren't going to produce these for much longer, I can assure you. Um, you never know. If enough people start buying them again, maybe they'll go back up to 89 quid. But well worth a purchase. Um, really, really good um, provenance with combined with the iPhone with the uh, PowerShell, makes a really powerful, um, really sophisticated retro gaming um, device. Thoroughly recommended and definitely got the arcade seal of approval. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, feel free to contact me on Twitter, send me death threats down below, whatever you want. But um, stay safe and enjoy. See you later. Bye.